the streets of London. And they said tourism would receive a boost from the stream of Olympic visitors and businesses likewise. Yet with central London at times appearing quieter than normal, even dubbed a ghost city, many have been left to wonder why the rush never came. Compared to last year for everybody, and it's not just this kind of business, patisserie, it's the pub, it's patisserie, even my friend who's got the hairdresser, he normally, on the last Saturday, he's a very well-known hairdresser, he only had two clients, normally has about 24, and it's every kind of business, the people just not coming, the, the normal London people and the new tourists, the, the Olympic tourists, I suppose. Figures point towards a 30% drop in revenues for central London's shops, theatres and restaurants, compared to a similar period last year. With the Olympic Park sited to the east of the city and Europe's largest shopping mall alongside, perhaps for the first time in its life, central London has been left feeling like a sideshow. Many workers have also stayed away, heeding the constant warnings by London authorities of overcrowding on the transport network. And we, we put the blame firmly at the door of the Olympics, but more firmly at the door of our mayor, who's, who's spent the last four or five months scaring people out of London, telling people not to come to London. It's an absolute disaster. Um, Boris is to blame, the Olympic Authority people are to blame, Transport for London is to blame, and unfortunately it's working Londoners that are paying the price. But London's Mayor Boris Johnson has stressed that it's better to be safe than sorry, pointing at how well the transport system has coped with the Olympic demand. And while visitor numbers may be down in the centre, that's been countered by a rise in numbers travelling east. The figures uh, for the, the summer are similar. Our expectation, our forecast is similar to what we had left last year. So we might have a flat year this year in terms of uh, tourism in Britain. And on the medal front, this summer is already a runaway success for Great Britain charging to third place in the table after a slow start. But Britain will have to wait at least another month to see whether the summer of 2012 will be hailed a golden one for business too.